Amazing facts about wild boar and why it is forbidden to eat it in Islamic religions. The boar is a ferocious and stubborn wild animal of the order Artiodactyla. It is considered one of the largest wild mammals in Europe. He plays from time to time with mud in order to make his skin moist or to get rid of parasites. Like the domestic pig, his snout ends with a snout, nose, by which he digs the ground in search of food. In order to search for food, he can pass 50 kilometers in the day, or in pursuit of a better climate for living. If he rubs his teeth in the forest, it is said that he is, breaking nuts, and this means that he is ready to attack. The weight of the big male is about 150 kilograms, so care must be taken with him. He has front fangs growing and erect towards the top, and the upper jaw fangs form his first line of defense. His head is wide, his neck is short, and his body is strong but agile. The wild boar is a coward who hides at the slightest noise. It is rarely seen because it wanders, mainly, at night. Males sometimes wage fierce fights to maintain their territory. Wild boars come out at night, all day long, wild boars rest in a family. She hides in a muddy shelter, covered with soft branches, dry grass and leaves. As for the night, the wild pigs go out together in search of their sustenance, which they extract from the dirt, thanks to their snouts that allow them to search for food hidden in the soil. The wild boar's sense of smell is very strong. Pigs communicate by grunting or by clapping their tongues. Snorting can mean a lot, beware, danger. A group of wild boars can plunder a field of corn or potatoes in one night. A sow can give birth to 10 to 14 young at once, which she defends bravely. Pigs live in a family, only elderly male pigs live alone. The wild boar feeds, in particular, on roots and beech, the fruit of the beech, the acorn, and the fruits of the oak. He also loves potatoes and corn grains, and does not hesitate to eat in the fields, causing severe damage. It can also eat insect larvae, earthworms and frogs, which it picks up as it turns over moist soil. With his food, he devours some dirt to facilitate digestion. In winter, when all sources of animal food are inaccessible, the wild boar feeds on the carcasses of dead animals, including their mates. There were cases when wild boars even attacked wounded ungulates, deer and roe deer, killing and eating them. In addition, it happens that a herd of wild boars drives a flock of wolves away from an animal, elk or deer, that hunts them down and eats this wolf's prey. In Central Asia, there have been cases of wild boars attacking domesticated sheep. How long do wild boars live? In the wild, the wild boar's longest lifespan is 15 years, and the average is 10-12 years. In captivity, wild boar can live much longer, up to 20 years, on average 15-17 years. Pork meat is forbidden to Muslims because Islam forbids eating its meat of all kinds, whether wild or domesticated pigs. And wild boar is known to the Arabs in North African countries as haluf or goblin. Because it attacks their farms and spoils them by digging, and it is found almost in most countries of Central Europe, the Mediterranean Basin and North Africa. The Islamic religion forbids eating it because of its very serious harm. What are the benefits and harms of pork? With a large number, wild boars can cause significant damage to agriculture. Fields of grain, vegetables, melons, and more suffer from the raids of wild boar herds. In this case, the wild boar not only eats part of the harvest, but also breaks the stems of the plants, confuses them, that is, makes part of the field unsuitable for harvesting, even if the crop is not eaten. It harms animal meadows and pastures, digging and destroying the acidic soil layer in search of food. The harm that wild boars cause to agriculture is immeasurably higher than that of any other ungulates. When a wild boar attacks a person, there is no point in running away, because the beast develops a speed of up to 40 km per hour. The best solution is to climb a tree to a height of at least 1 1.5 meters. If there are no trees nearby, and the boar attacks, it is necessary to abruptly retreat to the side, moving at high speed. The animal will not be able to turn sharply to the side and will run. In these seconds you can navigate and find a suitable shelter. Wild boars are carriers of dangerous infectious diseases, swine fever, tuberculosis, pastoralosis, and helminthic diseases, metaplasmosis, ascariasis, echinococcosis, etc. 
The most dangerous diseases that wild boars transmit to humans are helminths. These are trichinosis and cystocercosis. Infection with them occurs mainly when eating raw or not thermally processed pork, in which helminth larvae are found. Now do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to receive all the upcoming videos.